All right, I'm going to move on now to some of the common errors for your reliability type questions. This includes proving surprise reliable trust. Does the source proof? Does the source can you trust the source? Right? Is the source useful? Is the source reliable? And some of the common things, right? First, do not ATQ. If my question is asking me about whether the source proves, and in my first line I say that source A is reliable, I have no mention of the word proof in my first line. Then I'm not answering the question. I will get a big fat zero. So please make sure that you look at the question carefully and answer to it. Source A proves that. Number two, did not state reliability. Again, this is for proving useful and trust for your cross-referencing, right? When you're doing your cross-ref, make sure you state the contradiction makes it, right? The contradiction makes it makes it unreliable right either the contradiction makes it or the support makes it reliable okay so you must mention reliability in your second paragraph if you just say a proves that americans are to be blamed as it is supported by b with no mention of reliability then it is wrong again so it should be like this, A proves that America is to blame as it is sorted by B, thus making it reliable, okay? <sighs> so number three, um, this one, go back to the video on evaluation again. If your explanation is vague, if your inference is vague, lifted, any of these things, then the paragraph is wrong. So make sure it is not vague, make sure you explain it two to three sentences. Okay, no conclusion. When you cross ref or when you talk about the motive, always conclude at the end, right? At the end, by saying, repeating the contradiction or the support or the motive and telling me whether it's reliable or not. And because it's reliable or not, hence it proves, right? Or hence I can trust it, right? So always go back to the question again. All right. Next, did not repeat inference for second paragraph. Okay, look at this. However, source A is not useful as is contradicted by B, making it unreliable. Then you go straight to B tells me the other side, the other inference. Again, this is wrong because you didn't repeat the inference, right? Unreliable in what? I need to know specifically unreliable in what? So look at the example here. However, source A is not useful as contradicted by B, making it unreliable in telling me that Americans were to be blamed for the Korean War. Right? Then you can state the contradiction after that. B tells me that the Soviets were to be blamed for the Korean War. Again, keep your criteria the same. Your inference is different. Your criteria must be the same. So in valid cross-reference, what does it mean? It means that when you make an inference, you, your criteria is not the same. Example, A is unreliable. It tells me Americans are to blame. So your topic here is Americans, who is to blame for the Korean War. Then you say it's contradicted by B. But when you make your contradiction, what do you say? You say the Soviets were in the war to support North Korea, which is a totally different topic from what you say in A. And so your cross-ref is a failed cross-ref. You will get wrong for the whole paragraph. Okay, so the correct one is here. Source A is unreliable in telling me that Americans are to blame. This is as contradicted by B, right? B tells me Soviets are to blame. So this is what I mean again. I cannot emphasize this enough. All your reliability and comparison questions, your criteria has to match. Inference is different. Criteria must match. All right, so it's who is to blame. Or who is the aggressor, or who instigated the war, things like that, right? So, I believe that's it. Oh yes, one more, misinterpretation. So again, read the source in its entirety before you come to your conclusion. Do not read one or two lines and make a judgment. Look at the provenance, look at who said it, look at what is said, then make your judgment. So, this is to prevent you from misinterpreting the source because it would be very sad if you do that. And you write a whole paragraph for nothing. So make sure you do not misinterpret the source.